So, uh, hi everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Basically, today we are uh, having this roadmap and um, it's basically everything I could find, everything about quantitative finance, uh, every topic, it's uh, all here. It's the ultimate roadmap for becoming a quantitative researcher. So uh, I uh, have broken down all of uh, these things you should learn into one, two, three, four, five, five uh, topics. And then we have um, these uh, things that um, go into detail what you should learn in this topic. And uh, if you are passionate about, like, let's say, finance and mathematics and technology, uh, I think becoming quant is one of the best career choices you can make. And a lot of people don't really know where to start, so this video is for them. So if you are one of them, stick around, uh, and we're going to find out why are these um, fundamentals essential, how they work together uh, to make you a successful quant. And uh, the first building block of any quant career is math. And here are the key topics, uh, probability and statistics. So these are crucial uh, for modeling uncertainties. Uh, then you have optimization, uh, which helps in portfolio construction, finding the best allocation of assets to maximize returns or for example, minimize risk. Then you have linear algebra, financial, because financial models often involve matrices, whether for factor models and machine learning algorithms. Then you have calculus, and calculus is essential for derivative pricing and understanding change in financial variables over time, such as uh, interest rates or stock prices. I went really fast over math, but it is one of the most important topics in the whole quant finance as an industry. And that's one thing you should really, really heavy study to get to become a good quant. Then, and well, you might ask, well, why is math essential? Because every quantitative model, trading strategy, or risk assessment starts with mathematical principles. So mastering these concepts um, gonna ensure your models are robust and accurate. And also the math is gonna teach you a new approach to problem solving in general and going to improve your logical thinking and your cognitive skills and so on. That's why you should learn math. Most quant hedge funds look for uh, really high math skills in people and uh, very good quantitative skills. Then uh, the next thing is programming. Because uh, quants... Uh, Basically, in past, traders and hedge funds used a lot of uh, discretionary investing. They used their brains a lot, and they did things in paper, with pen, and so on and so forth. Right now, most of things are done with computers and um, with technology, and uh, that's why you should learn programming. The, the most important things is Python and C++, okay? If, if you're starting out, learn these two first, Python and C++. Um, Python is great for statistical analysis and uh, visualization and machine learning uh, and statistical modeling and so on and so forth. Uh, you will spend time with Python uh, in notebooks. You don't put Python in your backend and so on and so forth. Uh, when you want to get fast execution times and high frequency trading, you use C++ in your backends. Uh, Python is just for research. You do research in your Python or some companies use R. Python is more common. And then to deploy your models, you will deploy them in different runtimes. And most of the time companies use C++ to achieve uh, these high execution times using C++, and that's why you should learn um, C++. And then uh, R is uh, similar to Python. Uh, I recommend people learning Python because you will be able to also uh, have very great access to great machine learning uh, 
libraries such as the sky uh, and uh, you will have pandas you will have all of these great things matlab it's similar to r but uh, it's not very often that people use this in industry there are some people that use this so you can also learn this it's like language that uh, is very uh, basically you can do every mathematical thing that you can imagine in with this language but you can pretty much do everything that you can do with this in python anyways so learn python and c plus plus mainly if you don't have a time and motivation and then uh, these are more advanced topics and that's if you want to become a, a quant developer or quant researcher it's good to know these things uh, you should understand cloud computing and uh, the most important you should understand uh, high performance computing uh, you should understand the uh, grid computing map reduce gpu computing these concepts uh, is going to allow you to process massive data sets um, um, a skill often needed for high frequency um, trading or backtesting strategies then you have parallel computing and uh, gpu computing speed is uh, well very important in finance GPU and parallelization are used um, to crunch numbers for complex simulations and optimization. And uh, when uh, uh, it comes to cloud, <clears throat> a lot of uh, uh, a lot of companies use uh, cloud, AWS, and so on and so forth um, to deploy models. A lot of companies like buy um, build data centers close to exchanges, but also a lot of companies. Uh, don't buy data centers and don't build their own data centers they just rent computer in cloud so you should learn AWS I recommend people learning AWS because that is one of the best cloud computing platforms so this is the things you should learn about in programming um, remember most importantly at least uh, learn Python and C++ you should solve at least uh, one lead code problem in Python every day and one uh, lead code problem in C++ while you're studying to become a quant. And in four years, you will become really good at it. And also build uh, personal projects in programming. And um, the, the conclusion about programming, why programming is very important, because uh, finance today is technology driven, whether it's automating trades or analyzing millions of data points, uh, programming is going to give you this tools to help you to do it uh, uh, faster, to do it more efficient, and so on and so forth. Then we, we're we going to talk about financial theory. This, this is going to give you meanings to numbers and equations that a lot of people look at and uh, get scared. You should learn financial theory. Um, you should learn about uh, options and futures. Um, these derivatives are essential uh, instruments in trading and hedging. And understanding how they work is a fundamental uh, skill that you should need to become a quant. Then you should learn risk management. Uh, it's not just about making money in finance. It's also about managing and minimizing potential losses. And then financial modeling. This involves building mathematical uh, representations of financial markets to guide investment decisions. And then on the other side, we have asset and derivative pricing and a capital asset uh, pricing model. Uh, when it comes to asset and derivative pricing, you should learn the most simple one, Black-Scholes. You should uh, understand that. And then you should understand even more complex uh, option pricing and derivative pricing uh, models. Um, binomial option pricing model and uh, others um, Monte Carlo and other ways to to price derivatives then you should also know uh, finite difference uh, methods these are numerical methods for solving differential equations which will you use uh, in um, pricing derivatives uh, why you should learn uh, financial theory because it bridges uh, the gap between abstract math and real world trading without it even the most uh, sophisticated models would lack practical value 
and uh, let's talk about econometrics um, econometrics is about applying statistical methods to economic uh, data um, you should learn a co-integration and volatility modeling these techniques um, are gonna help you understand relationships between financial assets and predicting price movements because of these uh, statistical relationships then you should learn about forecasting forecasting is uh, predicting future market trends in and it is one of the most valuable skills to a point like a lot a lot of times you will be forecasting prices or future market trends um, then you should learn regression and time series analysis analysis these are used to uncover patterns in historical data and predict future trends and then you have panel data analysis and this involves uh, analyzing multi-dimensional data it's crucial for understanding factors affecting uh, financial markets over time so why you should learn econometrics because data is the new oil in finance you probably have heard this often that data is new oil and it's it's especially true in finance uh, econometrics helps you to extract valuable insights and turn them into actionable strategies you should uh, add to here also machine learning because machine learning is um, the new econometrics like <laughs> not really but uh, i don't really use um, um, let's say simple regression um, I use mostly machine learning to predict, let's say, future price. And uh, you should learn machine learning. A lot of hedge funds right now use machine learning. And machine learning is more powerful than just simple statistical methods. Now, um, when it comes to quantitative finance, uh, this is really exciting. So um, you should learn about portfolio optimization so you should learn how to allocate resources efficiently to maximize uh, returns you should learn backtesting so how to test your trading strategies on historical data to ensure they work then you should uh, learn about risk and money ma money management it's essential for uh, sustainable trading then you have algorithmic and uh, high frequency trading these are the cutting edge fields where algorithms make uh, lighting fast decisions. So you should learn how to code these algorithms. Uh, you should learn uh, how to code the high frequency uh, programs um, in C++. You should learn how to create models that gonna do the algorithmic trading most companies don't do discretionary trading anymore they mostly use uh, algorithms to trade so you should learn about algorithmic trading and high frequency trading and then uh, statistical arbitrage this is really important uh, the basically you use statistical methods to identify and exploit price inefficiencies in market uh, so why you should learn quantitative finance because this is like where everything comes together it's the application of math programming and financial te theory to build strategies that generate returns and that is like going to be your job if you want to become a quant and um, that and there you have it it's a complete roadmap to becoming a quantitative researcher um, from mastering the fundamentals of math to applying complex algorithms in quantitative finance, each uh, step builds on the last. So becoming the quant is, is not easy, but it's incredibly rewarding for those who love problem solving and innovation. If you found this roadmap helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, let us know in uh, the comments which part of the roadmap uh, excites you most which one you think is the most important one if you already have experience in in quant industry uh, please uh, tell me uh, and tell us uh, other viewers uh, which of these concepts are the most important one 
and uh, I'm probably gonna share this one on my patreon so uh, um, yeah if you like this video make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one